Hello, good evening. Welcome to the class, Catherine, Kelia, and Lisette. I hope you are doing well. What did you do today, Catherine? Are you there, Catherine? No, not yet. And you, Lisette, are you there? Kelly, do you hear me, guys? Yeah. Hello, teacher. Yes. Ah, I okay. <laughs> ah, okay. I thought it was my my microphone. How was your day, Kelly? Um, I'm cool, and I drove my car at work at five a.m. Um, and I'm tired. <laughs> mm -hmm. I imagine. But are you in your house in this moment? Yes. Ah, okay. That's good. Welcome. Hi, Robert. What can you tell us about your day? How was it? It was... Busy? It was busy. Busy. Why? So can you tell me some activities, some things you have to do? I saw different projects. I'm working for Yal. Ah, okay. You are an architect, right? Or an engineer, I don't remember. Engineer. An engineer. And you work in Fovial, right? Yes. Ah, okay. Do you have to go to different cities? Robert? Yes, today to. I went to Apastepeque, later San Vicente, and then Santa Cruz Michapa. And later ah. I went to the office. Ah, okay. Yeah, you have a very busy, you have very busy days, but it's entertaining, right? It's exciting. Change, ah. it changes. Yes. <laughs> okay, Robert, good to see you. And guys, remember to activate the camera, please. Don't, don't forget to do it. If you can't, please let me know. But if not, please do. Please do so. So guys, we will start by playing this game. It's called Hankman in English. And we will start with Anna. Hi, Anna. Can you tell me one letter of the alphabet, please? Okay, teacher. Uh, yo la tengo que presionar, teacher. Uh, <coughs> oh. No, just tell me. No. Mm -hmm. Okay. Tell me and El I will tap it. Little... T? Letter T <coughs> as in tomato. Uh -huh. There we yes. go. Uh -huh. There are two of them. Thank you. Now let's continue with Angelica. Can you mention one letter of the alphabet, please? A. 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 Letter A. Yes, we have it, Angelica. Thank you. Now let's continue with Kelia. One letter, Kelia. E. Letter E. Yes, there it is. Thank you, Kelia. Guillermo, what do you think? And if you know, if you know the word, you can say it. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> D? Letter D as in David. Uh, no, no D, but thank you, Guillermo. Now let's continue with Monica. What do you think, Monica? Letter C. Letter C. Let's check. Yes, here it is. Thank you, Monica. Are you there, Lisette? Lisette? No. Vanessa Ramirez? What do you think? I. Oh, I. Okay, thank you, Lisette. There it is. And yes, Vanny, what do you think? Um, let me see. Hmm? Um, 
Eh, es. Es. Yes, there it is. Ideas in this moment. Do you know yes. the word? Enthusiastic. Yes. Uh -huh. It's one of the characteristics we studied yesterday, right? We were talking about personalities yesterday. Excellent. Thank you, guys. Now, Eric, question. Can you tell me four positive, positive characteristics, personality traits, four good aspects? Um, sobre enthusiastic teacher or in general? In a general way, four good characteristics. Cuatro características buenas. Um, Perseverant. Okay. Persist 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 Persistent. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Um uh, amability. Okay. Um well. if you don't remember more, that's okay. Mm -hmm. No problem, uh, Eric. I don't it's, remember. It's okay. We will refresh that. What about, let's see, um, Wendy, can you tell us four adjectives that express good aspects of our personalities? For uh, friendly, mm -hmm. polite, yes, kind, mm -hmm. and considerate. Considerate. Uh -huh. Considerate. Excellent, Wendy. Thank you. Now we have also negative, negative things. What about you, Mario? Hello, by the way. Can you tell us four negative attitudes? Aggressive. Aggressive. Uh huh. Picky, I think, but one. Picky. Yes. We have two. Uh, intolerant. Mm, yes. Nasty. And nasty. Yes. Okay, Mario. Thank you. Well, okay. we will start with, we will continue with an activity. I'm going to type the instructions here. You have to describe the ideal personality of the perfect um, the perfect partner okay you have to describe how the perfect person has to be but perfect partner is like a romantic romantic partner okay it's going to be maybe something that it, that is not real but something that you imagine. I want you to create a paragraph with at least 50 words. Okay, 50 words describing the ideal personality of the perfect romantic partner. Solo la, eh, para que estemos en, en la misma página, van a crear un párrafo en el que hablen de cómo sería la personalidad ideal de una pareja romántica. ¿Cómo sería para ustedes la persona perfecta? ¿Qué cualidades tendría que tener? Y ese párrafo debe de contener 50, 50 words. Okay. Do you have a question about this activity? ¿Para cuándo? <laughs> Today, in about, is it seven minutes? Okay. Estamos bien con seven minutes. Okay. Okay. Teacher, uh, yes, Anna. We we write uh, we write and not that. Uh, or if you can or in the chat. chat. If not in the oh, notebook, okay. take a picture and send it to WhatsApp. Okay. 
Si no, en okay. el cuaderno, pero okay. luego le toma la picture para que yo lo vea. Ajá. En Lisette, okay. do you Thanks. have a, did you have a question, Lisette? Or more time, you said. <laughs> more time. More time. Okay, let's try with 10 minutes. Okay, 10 minutes. If you can do it in less time, perfect. Thanks. Teacher. Okay. Yes, Angelica. Uh, could, could you give us an uh, example, please? An example. Yes. yes. Okay. Remember that this is about the perfect person. Estamos hablando de cómo sería mi pareja ideal. O sea, lo, cómo sería una persona perfecta románticamente. Ok, and you start with this. Lo voy a escribir acá. I can say, for me, the perfect person needs, needs to be, needs to be kind because we need someone that can help can help us when we need okay also y puede utilizar connectors angélica para seguir agregando algunas características no sé si tiene algunas ideas, si no les pongo acá unos connectors. Podría ser in addition, also, more over. Todos estos son como para incluir otras cosas. Es como end, pero para no decir end todo el tiempo, podemos cambiarlos. Do you get the idea? Si me entendió, Angélica. Yes, teacher. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. And later, we will read some of those paragraphs. Y luego algunos de ustedes vamos, van a leer ese, ese paragraph de cómo sería esa persona perfecta. The perfect person.
Hi, Alfredo. Good evening. Welcome to the class. Hi, good evening. Thank you. Hi, how are you doing? Doing well? Yes, I, uh, I am. How do you say? Cansado? Tired? No. Uh -huh. You're tired, yes. I'm yeah. sorry to hear that, Alfredo. Yeah. I wanted to, yeah. uh -huh, I imagine. I wanted to tell you what your classmates are working in. They are creating a paragraph. You have to create a paragraph describing, in your case, the perfect girl. You have to create oh. a paragraph describing the perfect girl yeah. for you. Uh -huh. The personality that girl needs to have and the paragraph needs to contain minimum, okay? That's the minimum, at least 50 words. And- uh -huh. I, I, I am going to write in the chat. Yes. On, on the chat. Uh -huh. Yes, you send the paragraph by chat and the time was 10 minutes. In this moment, ah, uh -huh, we uh, have uh, almost seven. So if you don't finish, you can more. finish it later. And then you oh, send it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh -huh. So okay. that is what we are doing. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. If you have questions, you can let me know. Okay, so uh, let's... Any questions? I'm sorry, Guillermo, did you have a question? Oh, no, I, I sent that for real. Ah, okay, all right, no problem. So, Guillermo, you already finished, right? Okay, Guillermo, can you tell us about how the perfect girl needs to be in your case? Can you read the paragraph, Guillermo? Uh, well, regarding, regarding the paragraph, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Give me a second. Um, sure. chat. Uh, I think that I didn't remind the person need to be friendly, cooperate, cooperative with me. Um, I think this person needs to be more respect than the other and um, with other too. If I have a problem in the life, I think this person need to be so helpful. Well, I don't have other idea about other things. Okay. Care me. And care for me. Care for me. Yeah, that is essential, right? Guillermo, well done. Uh -huh. Yeah. I understood the idea. You did very well. Maybe just two comments. You have to say, I think this person needs because it's a she, so you need the S. And in the first awesome. part, the same needs. And the person needs to be respectful. Respectful, that would be the word. Respect is a name, but for people, respectful. Only that. Thank you, Guillermo. Is there anybody Again. else ready? Hay alguien más que ya haya terminado? We have... One, one more minute. Okay, Monica, you already finished. Okay, Monica, can you continue, please? Can you read the paragraph? The perfect person for me has to be honest, affectionate, generous, attentive, mm -hmm. had all time, he knows the be responsible with his daily activities, with his work, he must also be adventurous to be able, able to know different place um, about, or he must have a lot of patience. Patience. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Monica. Thank you for the, the paragraph. Maybe just one recommendation, try to do it. Mm, a little bit more with your words. Try to avoid using the translator, okay? So you can practice what you have, okay? Está bien redactado, no hay ningún problema. 
Solo la única recomendación, Mónica, que trate de no utilizar mucho un translator para que pueda practicar sus conocimientos. Y aunque salga mal o hay algún error, uno practica más. Okay, but thank you, Mónica. Thank you very much. Okay, who okay. else is ready? Thank you. You're welcome. Are sure. you ready, Robert? Ajá. Uh -huh. Time is up, guys. Mm, really? Yes. I... Mm -hmm. I... I try to even buy the paraf. In my case, for me, the perfect person is to be a loyal, very kind oh, yeah. with his uh, with his parent and person, and love God mm -hmm. and stay with me in a good moments and bad moments all the time, mm -hmm. and work for our plans or goals together. Mm -hmm. So you uh, you value loyalty a lot, right? You need that person yeah. or you want that person to be with you no matter what. Okay, all right, Robert, thank you. Just at the beginning, you can say a person, no, um, I don't remember the specific words, Robert, but use her parents, use the possessive her. His is for her men. Mm -hmm. So ah, her, her parents. For her parents, yes. sorry. Uh, yes, that's the, the change. Thank you, Robert. Now let's continue with Hazel. Can you read yours, Hazel, please? Yes. Um, my perfect couple must be an honest man. Someone that res respect me. I value a lot of the intelligent and moral values. It's very important for me that we have good communication similar dates, but above all common goals. I love genuine people. Also, I will be like he be very retailer. Like, you mean like adaptable? Or what do you mean in the last word? Retailer. Uh-huh. Detallista. Ah, okay. All right. Got it. Okay, Hazel, thank you. Thank you very much. Wendy, can you continue, please? For me, the person needs to be responsible and reliable because it's necessary to take time with me. And I like the person when he's polite and friendly because I like to talk about different things. Different things. The person needs to be a mentor because I love to go out in uh, in new different places. Me too. Me too. I like doing that. <laughs> Thank you, Wendy. Excellent. I appreciate it. Catherine, you. you're done, Catherine. Let's continue with you. Okay. I think the perfect perfect person, romantic partner need to be funny for help me forget the problems and the bad days also need to be a lovely to give me a love whatever need to be careful for care me and protect me in addition need to be a kind with the people no matter if you have a bad day i like the description i have very good characteristics catherine funny right for bad days or bad moments. You need someone who is funny. Thank you, Catherine. Now let's mm -hmm. continue with Anna. Anna, you finished. Yes, teacher. I can read. Can I read? Yes, sure. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, I need a good boyfriend at the beginning that be kind because I need someone that can help me when I need. Uh, be funny, also polite, because I like to love, love and I take time to get it ready. Uh, for example, when we go to a dinner or discotheque and, and be honest is very important because I am a sensitive person and I don't like. 
You don't like lies. Uh, light de mentir. Ajá, uh -huh. you don't like lies. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. yes. Yeah, honesty is important too. Thank you, Ana. Okay, so guys, we will continue. If you haven't finished, please send the, the paragraph by chat and I will read it later. Si no lo han terminado, lo pueden terminar después. Si ya casi lo terminaron, lo pueden enviar en el chat acá. Si no, lo mandan al grupo. Yo ahí lo voy a leer. Let's continue. Let's continue talking about... Now the physical appearance. Yesterday we talked about personality, right? In this moment, we are going to talk about the physical appearance. Ayer más que todo estuvimos platicando de la personalidad, pero ahora vamos a hablar un poco más de la apariencia física. So I'm going to give you some, some words, vocabulary that you can use to talk about the appearance. If you have questions, you can, you can let me know. We have some pictures, but if you don't understand the picture, please let me know, okay? Let's talk about age, okay? We have different words to describe the age. The one here, age. One second, okay. And we have some, some, words we can use. Okay. Give me a second. Okay. Marlon, hello Marlon, can you read the, the words please? Hello. Age. Mm -hmm. Or Yes, the ones you see in red. Okay. Young. Middle age, old. And old. Thank you, Marlon. Okay, one point, guys. Old sometimes can be offensive. If you want to sound more polite, you can use the word senior. Okay, that's, that's not offensive. But old sometimes it could be offensive. So this is another option, a senior person or elderly. That's also, that's also, okay, elderly. Okay, that's one word. Middle age, that's the term we use for people uh, inside this, this age. Okay, that will be considered middle age middle age, and then young people, young people. Okay, questions about the age part, about this aspect, questions or comments? Oh. Okay, so let's talk about the body, build. We have other terms that we can use, and we have them over here. Okay, one second. Okay, there are four terms we can use. One's here, the one, the one's there. Okay, Ale, uh, Alfredo, I'm sorry, Alfredo, can you read the terms that we have, please? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, the well, uh -huh. the ones in oh, red. Okay, okay. Well, Built, long, thin, 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 fat, thin, fat, slim, and slim. Yeah. Thank you. Uh -huh. Just those. Yes. Just those. Thank you, Alfredo. Okay, so you have the picture. So plump is is similar to fat. Okay, like a round, like a round. Uh, um, size or shape, okay? Plump es como gordito o como alguien que tiene como una forma circular. So that's a word you can use, plump. Well-built, you can see the guy there. So 
he is in shape. He looks like he goes to the gym. That's well built. For example, I can say my best friend. And then you use the word that you need. My best friend is slim. What is slim? A word you use when a girl looks like that. Okay, slim, thin, and sexy. She looks good. She has a good body. Then you have fat and thin. Do you have questions about the build, about the shape of the body? What does plum mean? Mini. I don't have this specific word. No tengo la palabra justa, Catherine, pero es cuando alguien es como, tiene este tipo de cuerpo. No es súper, es como llenito, por así decirlo. Es como alguien que no está así súper gordo, pero tiene como una forma redonda en su cuerpo. No está su cuerpo definido, por decirlo así. así no como es obeso. La no, no es a llegar a obeso, sino okay. que esa persona se ve así como la, la que ven acá. Que el cuerpo, ups, no lo tiene así. No es súper gordita, pero sí tiene su pancita y sus bracitos llenitos, su carita redondita. Rellenita. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I will go with that, mm. Eric. <laughs> Rellenito. Okay, so plump. Yes. Other words con build, estamos bien? Or do you have questions? No questions. Okay, let's continue with height. Height. Okay. That's the one we will talk about. Okay. Can you read those terms, Vanessa Ramirez? Please, the ones we have here. Okay, uh, height and short, medium height, tall. Thank you very much, Fanny. Just one uh, comment, height. That is the, the right height. way to say it. Uh-huh. Height. And yes. Okay. And remember this, guys, is short, not small. Eh, la palabra o el adjetivo correcto sería short, ¿verdad? No utilizamos small para personas bajitas. Utilizamos short. That's the one. Do you have questions? Questions about the height? No. No, no question. Okay. Lisa? Medium height is. Medium height sería como mediano. Ajá. Así que no es ni alto ni bajo. Mm -hmm. like in the middle. That would be medium height. What do you think about Salvadorians, Lisette? Are we short, medium height, or tall in El Salvador? Medium height. Medium height. Sí. <laughs> okay. Medium height and short, or medium height and tall? And short. And short. And short. Yes, that's true. Okay, then the next one is some words you can use to talk about the eyes. Let's talk about the eyes. Mostly we talk about the colors, the color of the eyes. That is what you can say. Kelia, can you, can you read the, the words, the concepts? Blue eyes, brown eyes, small eyes. Uh -huh. Thank you. And we have big eyes for people who have big eyes. In your case, Kelia, what is the color of your eyes? Uh, brown eyes. Brown eyes, uh-huh. And we also have hazel, like hazel. Hazel eyes. That's another color, okay? Okay, next one. Let's talk about the shape of your face. The shape of your face. That's the one we have here. There are different shapes. And I will share them with you here, okay? Observe the picture and we will read the terms. Okay, can you help us with that one, Lisette? Page, wrong, 
oval square long. Thank you. Uh -huh. Just this one round. That's the, the correct pronunciation. Okay, thank you. Okay, questions? Is it clear? The faces, the form of the faces? Bani, do you have a question, Bani Ramirez? Oh, and I missed, I missed some, some terms. Se me escaparon unos que son correspondientes a los eyes. Okay, can you help us read those ones, Catherine, please? Talking about the eyes. Sorry, I, I don't listen. Ah, can you help us read the, the information in red? The one that it's colored. Ah, okay. At the eyes. Mm -hmm. Okay, beat brown eyes, oval eyes, and wear glasses. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So that is also something you can say. Okay, let me scroll down. Now, the shape of your nose. We will talk about the nose. There are different words. Give me one moment. Okay, so those are the, the ones. And let's continue with Angelica. Can you help us, Angelica, with the terms for the nose? Yes. Uh, a straight nose, mm -hmm. hooked nose, long nose, small nose, turn up nose. Perfect. Thank you very much, Angelica. Okay, so hook nose, imagine, imagine that it's a person who has a nose similar to an eagle. Es como a lo que le llamamos nosotros chatos. That is hook nose. Cuando tiene como una curva, la nariz. That's hook, hook nose. And the one here, Ana, tell me. Es eh, eh, es hook nose, dijo, ¿verdad? Hook nose, ajá. Así como, okay. como hay un animal, un, no sé si es el parrot, el, como un loro. So it's like, ajá, que tiene esa vueltecita. So that's hooked. And then you have turn, turn up nose. That's cuando una nariz tiene como, como una forma puntiaguda al final. I don't know if I have a picture. Quisiera ver si les muestro una picture. Give me one, one moment. One second. I don't see it now. But it's like a, it's a nose, que la parte, esta parte de acá es como más infladito. That's a turn up, turn up nose. No sé si, tal vez luego les mando ahí una picture on, on WhatsApp, by WhatsApp, y ahí pueden ver su forma de la nariz, si no me la entienden ahí mucho. Do you have any comments or questions? It's a, it's a big nose. No, es como, no. I, I had some pictures, quería mostrarles una picture, pero no la tengo, pero si no la voy a enviar más tarde. Cuando salga de, de mi siguiente clase voy a buscar la picture, Mario, y se las envío para que quedemos claros en, en la de turn up a uh, nose, uh -huh. okay. para que vean cómo okay. es esa shape. You're welcome. Ok, let's continue with mouth. That's the next one we have. We have that one. Can you help us with that one, Heidi? Large mouth, a small mouth. Those are the options we have. Large and small. Those are the words we can use. Now let's talk about the lips, okay, the lips. 
Okay, can you help us with that one, Monica? Full lead, curved lead, thin lead. Thank you. Huh? Thank you very much. And the last part will be ears. Okay. Can you help us with that one, Kelia? Please, the ones here, ears. Casi no se ve. And no, now, no. Ah, okay. Okay, so I will read it in that case. Large, we have large ears and small ears. Those are the two options we have, large and small. Okay, those are the words you can use. Do you have any questions? Any questions for me? No. Okay, I sent, I sent a picture by WhatsApp. I sent this there to, to have one activity. Okay, we have different people here. You have to choose two people and you are going to describe the person and also you have to talk about the personality. Okay, vamos a trabajar en, en tríos o parejas. Van a escoger por lo menos dos personas. Las van a describir su physical appearance, su aspecto físico y su personalidad. Van a observar y van a hacer una idea de cómo podrían ser. Okay? Y le van a dar un nombre. Like here we have Samuel, Audrey. So you choose. We have Hailey, Lucy. If not, you can choose a name. Okay? You create a little paragraph about that person. Van a crear un pequeño párrafo en el que expliquen cómo es y su personality. Okay. Any comments or questions? Estamos bien. Comprendemos qué vamos a hacer. Yes. Here, please. Comparta la lámina que acabamos de ver para tomar información de sure. ella para hacer la descripción. Ah, la anterior, la de esa. Mm -hmm. Sure. Uh, give me one oh, minute. Está, ¿Dónde está la descripción de, de todo? De los ojos, nariz, boca. Ajá, esa. Yeah. Ajá. Si quieren la puedo mandar al, al grupo. O si no, ahí le toman el screenshot. Sí, mande la teach. Ok, ya, ya se los mando. Solo voy a crear los grupos y luego ya le envío. Ok. Um, there are 15 of you. Ok. Ya se las envío ahí. So, you're going to... Give me one second.
Hi guys, sorry to interrupt. Mm -hmm. uh, Hazel, I just wanted to tell you that I read the, the paragraph, Hazel. Yes. You, uh, the one you sent by WhatsApp, it's, it's good. I just wanted to give you some feedback. Solo le quería ayudar con unas partes. Sí. Uh, donde dice honesty and responsibility. Hay dos palabras que son similares. Honesty es como honestidad, como la, la característica. Pero yes. si habla de la persona, ahí utilice el adjective, que sería honest. Honest, honest. ok. Uh -huh. An honest person and responsible. Porque responsibility okay. también sería el otro. And okay. then, solo cambia el subject. El sujeto, así como donde dice your parents, como no son... Tiene que ser el de él, por ejemplo, his, his parent, or he, he must like dogs, for example. So just that, solo ese comment, Hazel, del sujeto que en vez de que sea you, tiene que ser ahí he. Ok. Que debe de utilizar. But well done. Estaba muy uh -huh. bien, muy entendible. Solo esos comments para mejorar. Thank you. Eh, You're welcome. Before I go, do you have questions, Monica, Ana, or you, Hazel? So, si no. Tiene... no. No. Ah, okay. No. All right. See you in one moment. Bye bye. Laila. Hi, guys. Este, primero la descripción física o mezclamos ahí. Mix. Ajá, uh -huh. mix, Lisa. Okay. Mm -hmm. However you wish. Because usually when we describe people, we mix both things in real life. Cuando, lo, cuando hablamos de alguien, usualmente mezclamos ambas. La personalidad mm -hmm. con la apariencia. Mm -hmm. So, yes. Any other questions, Marlon or Catherine? No, no teacher. Oh, And how nice. are you doing? ¿Qué tal van? ¿Ya escogieron quiénes? Sí, yes. eso va. Ah, ok. Laila, a Laila vamos a escribir. Laila, vaya, vamos a ver qué dicen de ella. That's cool. I will let you continue working. Me voy a ir entonces para que los deje ahí concentrarse. If you need me, let me know. Me avisan cualquier cosa. And I'll come back. Ok, okay. see you. Thank you. I think that is all. No. Uh, nose. Mm, nose. Hi guys, how are you doing? Do you need Hi. help? That's all, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any questions for me? No, uh, for the eyes, for example, hmm? I am describe is green eyes and wear glass. And wear. Uh -huh. Glasses. Yes. Ah, okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. So you're good. Okay, guys. In that case, I will let you continue, and I'll see you in in a moment. Bye bye. Okay. Bye. Bye. He's a person honest and friendly. Hi, guys. Sorry to interrupt. I just wanted to know how you were doing. Do you need any help now? Teacher. Mm -hmm. Yes. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo puedo decir este? Él, él parece una persona amable. He looks like. He looks, uh -huh. he looks, he looks like. like a uh, good, sorry, kind, amable, dijo, ¿verdad? Sí. A kind person. Mm -hmm. He looks like a kind person. Y la otra es, he seems, he seems like a kind person. That could be the other possibility. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? No. Teacher, yes, uh -huh. I have a question. Uh, with the tongue skin, 
how ah. how, how do we do we say ah uh, yes. yes that's a good question white we have white skin we have black you can use black skin and you can also use brunette brunette es como los morenitos okay hace la mano acá brunette white una persona black and this is brunette brunette okay mm -hmm. yes eh, solo ahí me, se me quedó le falta esto sorry Solo voy a revisar bien el, el spelling. Yes. Es así. Brunette. Ah, ok. I'm Thank sorry. you, teacher. You're welcome. Anything else you may need? ¿Y cómo mm, van? No, ya teacher. van en el segundo. Ya van terminando o en el first. De... Más o menos cada uno. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. That's a good way. Ok, porque ya en in about two minutes vamos a regresar. So I will let you continue. Los voy a dejar que continúen porque yo sé que si estoy acá los distraigo un poquito. So I'm going to go. See you in one moment. Okay, You're welcome. Okay. Bye. Ok, teacher. Hi, Mario. Uh -huh. How are you? Do you need help? Eh, estamos complementando nada más la descripción física. Ah, okay. So you're good. Yes. I forgot to give you the skin color. No les di lo del de color de piel. Skin color could be white, could be black, and we have brunette. Brunette is what we call morenos here. And black okay. is very black, right? <laughs> so, uh -huh. That's the skin color. Okay. If you want to describe the skin color. Um, okay, in one minute we will return, guys. We will return to the other room. See you okay. in one moment. Bye. Bye. Okay, we will wait a little bit just for your classmates to return and then we will start okay, in about 20 seconds. How many, how many people did you describe, Anna? Did you finish? Uh, we, we describe one, one, one. person. Ah, okay, all yes. right. Not enough time, right? It was not sufficient. <laughs> you needed more time. <laughs> Sorry. Maybe, maybe in another time I okay. can give more time. So Anna, you were working with Hazel and Monica. Can you give us the description? Yes. Tell me the, the guy. Which person are you going to describe? Uh, we choose the Leila. Ah, okay. Let's see. Uh huh. How does she look like? How is she? <laughs> uh, she's uh, and she's younger. And uh, she is a slim. She has a square face. She wears glasses. And she has a beautiful and red hair. And she is friendly and a smart girl. Okay, thank you. She looks like a very nice person. 
Just one change. She is young. Younger is when you compare to people, but there is no comparison. So only she is young. Thank you. Now let's continue okay. with Mario, Roberto, and Wendy. Mario, do you want to share your screen? Va a querer eh, compartir su pantalla, Mari? Or, or mine? O solo comparto la picture? Ok. Would eh, you share? Sure. La va a compartir. Compart Presiona el botoncito verde que se encuentra oh, en la parte de abajo. Ok. Qué rápido. Eh, uh -huh. <laughs> eh, the personality is someone is serious and bright. Uh, description physical uh, red hair, wear glasses, blue eyes, oval face, thin lips, and white skin. Uh, Audrey, uh, personality is friendly and adventurous. Description physical uh, brown hair, brown eyes, large, large mouth, and thing, white skin. Excellent. Okay, thank you. Very well done. Okay. Thank you, guys. Okay, and then let's see. Okay, Angelica, Guillermo, and Vane. Yes, teacher. Okay, you can continue, guys. Okay, uh, hey. sure. Uh, the photo, please, teacher. Ah, okay, yes, yes. Who are you describing? Which person? A quien están describiendo? Or guys, if you wish, uh, let's finish tomorrow. Sigamos mañana debido al tiempo, because it's, it's time to go. Okay. Y mañana lo, me dan las descriptions, please. Sorry, but I have to run to the other class. Okay, so I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Take care. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Okay. Good, good night, night, teacher. Good night. Thank Bye. you.